Fantastic. Unbelievable. But there it is, dynamic duo. The perfect crime. Executed with uncanny precision timing. Did I miss the beginning of this episode? Fantastic. Unbelievable. But there it is, dynamic duo. The perfect crime. Executed with uncanny precision timing. No, the episode starts in the middle. Or else when they were preparing this DVD, somebody came to work hammered. And in case you're wondering, we won't find out what this crime was. My guess is the big hole in the wall. Could it be the Joker? Negative. Not the Riddler either. So that leaves the Penguin. Yes, it's got his style, but, but what Batman? He's got to owe the diabolically ingenious structure of this crime to someone else. Someone with a really big drill bit. Meanwhile, in an isolated marshy area several miles from Gotham City... No, his accomplice is Alibaba. They changed the password to the cave because Penguin couldn't say sesame with that cigarette holder in his mouth. It worked perfectly. <laughs> of course it did. Thank you. You're welcome. Who's talking in here while I'm concentrating on my work? I am. Well, be quiet. Who are you? He is the penguin. I thought I told you to be quiet. It's just like having kids. You spend the first few years teaching them to talk, and then the next 20 years trying to get them to shut up. That's Professor Willingham Billingsley, though we won't learn his name until after the commercial break. He built that computer, and it can calculate exactly what Penguin needs to do to not only pull off his crimes, but avoid Batman in the process. Oh yes, I remember you now. You've been testing some of my inventions. And what little goody have you cooked up today? This electromagnetic ray. It works beautifully. It works beautifully. What sort of work does it do? At this moment, another penguin caper takes place. <laughs> robbery! Robbery! Help! It lifts heavy objects. Dude, share that with the world. Do you have any idea how it could revolutionize things like building construction? To say nothing of packing up the band gear after a gig. Batman! Armored car on Highway 90. Batman here. Batman go. Robin go too. Quick, the battle <laughs> That should decoy the dynamic dodos. <laughs> Elevation 67 degrees. Blast off. Last time the Batapult was more like a Batzooka. It's a very versatile item as we'll see in future episodes. That's not the Penguin. That's a blow-up doll that kept them distracted while the real Penguin was going around town stealing more stuff with that ray of his. Batman took the doll back to the Batcave. Robin never saw it again, but suddenly Batman was disappearing for a bit two or three times a day. According to the Bat computer, the Penguin is using a computer. Oh, buddy, we're going to have to set a trap. Not for Penguin, but for his computer. Next day at police headquarters, Batman is giving a lecture. He's brought pretty much the entire Bat computer with him. In here is my complete Bat computer crime file. With this, my Bat computer can track down. <coughs> and without it, you're helpless. <laughs> Tell me there's a tracker in that case. So far, so good. Now, everything his crime computer tells him will also show up on our bat computer. Even better, a virus. Danger, danger. You have been tricked by a micro-circuit punch card. Lucky for Penguin, he bought the upgraded version of his antivirus software. He knows Batman is listening in, so they'll discuss a fake scheme and send him and Robin to their doom. <coughs> Sulfur pits. Uh, we... We've been tricked. Got to get out of here. Sorry. Can't make it. Did they leave their gas masks back in the Batcave? Is this like an RPG where you can only carry a certain number of items so you choose a loadout before you go on the quest? If so, they chose poorly. <laughs> oh, dear me. This will never do. The professor has Batman and Robin hooked up to one of his machines. I'm going to program my computer with their brainwaves. Then when the computer knows everything they know, 
It can predict every thought that will enter their heads. It's amazing what you can build with a couple of upside down bowls and some wire. Penguin wants to kill them now, but Professor Billingsley is way more scientist than he is arch criminal. He wants to see if he can do this. He calls it the ultimate experiment, man versus machine. The gadget makes some impressive lights and noises and it's finished. Release them on the marshes. Give them 15 minutes start. Then have your men hunt them down. The computer will tell you their every move. Scott Evil, tip your hat. They're putting the Cape Crusaders in an overly complex and easily escapable trap and then they'll be surprised when it doesn't work. These supervillains need to look outside Gotham City for reliable henchmen. The local crop is kind of talentless. Computer just advised you will be ambushed from a tree behind you. Roger, out. They also have trouble hanging on to stuff. Now that our heroes know the game, they can alter the rules to suit them. Computer advises Batman now has a communicator. All future orders will be given by flare signal. Or not. While they battle traps and bad guys, Alfred is in the Batcave trying to figure out why they've been out of contact for so long. The Marshlands, said to be secret laboratory of Dr. Willingham Billingsley. Hmm, they just might need me. To the Batboat. Is he going to put on any kind of disguise, or is it common in Gotham City to see Bruce Wayne's butler running around in Batman's vehicles? Dynamic duo will next attempt to infiltrate this laboratory. Here? Will they succeed? Why not ask us in person, Penguin? The answer is yes. Oh, shut up. Hey, I worked on computers for 15 years. One thing is sure, if you ask one a question, you will get an answer. Maybe not the one you want, but you will get an answer. It works, by gum, it works. He sounds surprised. Penguin pushes a button and the floor opens to reveal a bubbling pit of science. Do not ask why the professor has one of those. A little nudge and in they go. Better try to stall. Now you've got us, Penguin. Don't you want to unmask us? You clever creep. You want me to come close enough so you could grab me. He's frozen in place. How's he going to do that? But Penguin doesn't need to unmask him. Ask me. Batman's identity is recorded in my memory bank. Marvelous! Who is Batman? Batman's identity is B -b 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 Bubba J? B -b 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 Bubba Smith? B -b 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 Bubble Up? I have been tricked with a self-destruct card. I learned how to work with computer punch cards in 1973. I saw them do a lot of weird things to a computer, especially when I made a typo in my programming, but I never saw one do that. Then again, this is Batman, not a music nerd looking for an extra academic credit. So you see, Professor, we planted that secret card hoping that the Penguin would ask the computer our secret identities. And that would make the computer destroy itself. Brilliant! Brilliant! So that's how you destroyed my life's work and left me homeless. Brilliant! <laughs> Look down there! <laughs> that Alfred, he never fails to amaze me. The professor said Alfred who, and they both went, oops. All right, Animaniacs, I have three tasks for you, and they need to be done quickly before it's too late. First, click that like button down there and let us know that you enjoyed this video. Second, this is Irving. If you haven't subscribed yet, punch him in the face and make sure you get it done, because something is always happening around here, and you don't want to miss a thing. Third, become a patron today, because... Between Irving, Hazel, and Robin, we go through a lot of food around here. Until next time.